What's up guys? Let's talk about smart contracts. A smart contract is a digital contract that executes automatically. Put simply, a smart contract is a software on a blockchain that facilitates three functions. It defines rules, verifies rules, and self-executes. Now I know you said, Jamal, you said put simply, but I don't understand a single word you said after that. Okay, that's my bad. Maybe this example will help. Think of how a vending machine works. You put in your money, you select a snack, and depending on how much money you put in, it gives out either a snack, your money, or a combination of both. You see what happened there? The vending machine had predefined rules, it verified the rules when you put your money in, and then by giving out the snack, it self-executed the rules. Smart contracts are just a digital version of a vending machine. And since they're built on a blockchain, they could do things that a regular paper contract simply cannot. For example, benefits of a smart contract. Number one, autonomy. No need for a middleman, no lawyer, no broker, etc. They're immutable. It's basically a big word meaning it can't be changed once it's out there. Trust and safety. All documents are encrypted on a shared ledger. Speed. No paperwork, no middleman, and automated tasks. And then accuracy. No manual errors because there's no people, so no legal hassles. But Jamel, will there ever be any confusion on who owes the money? No! That's exactly the point. The code's not biased. It doesn't care about any of that. Just show up the money. You know, when I think about it, the world is probably a much better base place with uh, smart contracts, huh? Let's take a look at a few examples. Elections. Blockchain protected votes can alleviate any concerns of a rigged election. Financial transactions. Actually, some institutions are already using smart contracts. Barclays, for example, uses smart contracts to log change of ownership and automatically transfer payments. Insurance. People can automatically get payouts if the conditions are met. For example, farmers could be getting money when it rains less than 10 days in a year. And then rental properties. You can immediately transfer deeds without any middlemen. The examples could go on and on and on, but you know, you get the picture. I think the key takeaway here is that smart contracts are self-executing. And since it's just code, it can enforce any agreement better than the court system. Something that I think we should uh, look much harder into in 2022, huh?